Hi, it's Friday and you know what that means. It's time for another double feature Friday. And this week I'm talking about two films that were actually just released over the weekend. Just in one theater in Cincinnati, Ohio, it does a double feature. And those films are Death Game and Knock Knock. I did not <laughs> come up with this idea this double feature i heard that grindhouse releasing has uh just released a 4k version of the movie death game which was released in 1977 and because eli roth did sort of a remake based on this film in 2015 called knock knock they showed both films together and we watched death game and it was so good after we finished it we thought why not just watch knock knock and bang out both of them at once like i said these two films were released over the weekend in cincinnati in a movie theater i think it was the enterprise theater but i heard that because grindhouse releasing just put out this new 4k of death game they're going to try to do this double feature in select theaters, I think maybe just in the US. I'm hoping North America because even though I just watched these both as a double feature, I think it'd be super fun to do it in a theater with a group of people. And both films were fantastic. I went to the Grindhouse releasing website to see if I could pick up um, Death Game on 4K and unfortunately they are sold out. This film is really fun. Uh, it's a little stressful, I'm not gonna lie. It's a home invasion film and it stars. And Death Game was directed by Peter S. Trainer, and it stars Seymour Castle, Sandra Locke, and Colleen Camp. Sorry, I'm reading off my little notes. I don't normally like to do that, but my memory is not that great today, so. It's basically one location, a very limited cast. It's basically just those three people. The premise of the film is this dad is at home alone. His kids were with their grandparents. The one got sick and so his wife flew out to be with her sick kid and he's home alone for a couple nights and he's just chilling, having pizza, drinking beers, listening to music, having the most perfect night of his life. He gets a knock on the door and it's two young women who are soaking wet and lost and looking for a phone. And he lets them in, helps them out. They have a threesome, it gets wild. And yeah, then he basically gets held hostage in his own home for the next couple of days. And it is crazy. Obviously, Knock Knock is the same exact same premise, but it stars Keanu Reeves, Anna de Armas, I'm probably saying her name wrong, and Lorenza Izzo, who I'm pretty sure is Eli Roth's wife or partner. I could be wrong. Maybe they aren't together anymore. Anyways, so it's directed by Eli Roth, who I guess some point before 2015 saw Death Game and thought, wow, a lot more people should be watching this movie, and he made his own version of it. I don't think that I like to knock knock as much, but it is its own thing. It definitely feels more comedic to me. Whereas Death Game feels more stressful and suspenseful. Like I felt like I was <laughs> stressed out the whole movie. The girls in Death Game are, oh, they definitely seem more manipulative, more damaged. Like the one girl maybe has experienced, you know, pretty severe trauma in her life. And definitely felt like they were actually a threat. Hey, I just thought I'd interrupt myself real quick because I was editing this video and I realized I think I forgot to talk about something that to me was sort of the most important part of, the, of Death Game. And that was the scene where the women are trying on the wife's clothes. That to me feels like such a huge violation and I would be super upset to find out when I came home that not only was my husband basically uh, held hostage for days, um, but also that these women had tried my clothes and used my makeup and just violated, you know, my personal space in that way. I also just loved the idea of it. It was great, that whole scene of them uh, <laughs> dancing, especially the one girl dancing around in the nightgown and it's horrifying. And the scene where they're doing their makeup. I thought that was one of the most important things that got left out of Knock Knock because to me it just showed like where their heads were at and their state of mind. These women are just out of control and it was really scary and I loved how Sandra Locke's character did her 
makeup it also just had such a natural feel to it that i always really love to see like it's kind of like they just told them to go wild and do their makeup and act crazy and it's really effective so yeah bye and knock knock i would say you know they seem it feels more like they have an agenda they don't feel as threatening or scary or annoying they're annoying but i would say not as threatening as the two girls in death game but keanu reeves i liked his performance better seymour castle did a great job and probably acted the way that i would act if i was in a home invasion and people were torturing me for days on end but keanu reeves i thought the writing for his character was really good i think this was one of my favorite keanu reeves performances I always find him to be a little bit flat and I think it's just how he is and sometimes I think it works and a lot of times I think it doesn't. This film was good and there is a social media aspect to it that's funny. It's a way more comedic film than Death Game. There, there's some moments of tension. I mostly was scared that the dog was going to get injured. But I also know that Eli Roth has a Frenchie and I don't think he would be putting this <laughs> Frenchie in harm's way. But it is good. It's entertaining. I definitely like Death Game better. Um, but they were fun to watch back to back and sort of have that comparison. And then also it didn't feel like they were too similar that you were watching the same movie twice in a row. If you have a chance, if this does come to a theater near you, this double feature, I definitely recommend it. I also heard at the Cincinnati theater on the weekend, they were giving out free pizza when you went to go see the film. And if you've seen Knock Knock, you'll know why that's kind of funny. I guess that's it for me for this week. Bye for now.